Welcome to TYT Sports. I'm Michael Shore, uh, Jason Rubin, Ben Mankiewicz. Uh, yesterday, uh, as the St. Louis Rams came out at uh, the worst named stadium in the United States, Edward did, Jones. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, but it, I mean, it was. I mean, did you like it when it was the RCA Dome? No, I, I don't like it. I don't like anything that has the corporate name and that somehow we're not allowed to use the original name, except I don't think right. that ever had an we'll original name. We'll call it Rams Stadium. Yeah, right. at Rams Field. Uh, so, uh, 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 again, that's just 17 miles from Ferguson. And the, uh, a number of Rams players, Stedman Bailey, who needs to be signed in every fantasy league, right. um, uh, Tavon Austin, Chris Givens, Kenny Britt, and Jared Cook, uh, came out as they were came out of the tunnel with their hands up, don't shoot gesture. Most people missed it. Yeah. Like it wasn't uh, exactly an over the top. Well, also, because very often they come out like this right. anyway. So there's a, you know. But in the context of what's been happening in Ferguson, this was, uh, this was, th they were clearly making a statement. It was not received by everyone just because people aren't really looking at that. So yeah. it seems, considering that 99.99% of the protests around the country that have used that symbol have been nonviolent, peaceful protests. Yeah. Uh, demonstrated by people who have a, a serious point to make that everybody in this country ought to take soberly. It's interesting that the reaction from the St. Louis Police Union was, uh, was, what, uh, was what it was. outrageous <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, no what a great thing for these guys to do what a great thing for these guys to do uh, and again Jared Cook Stedman Bailey Tavon Austin and by the way they Chris won Chris 52 Kenny, Kenny nothing Brent. they're probably gonna do it every time because athletes are <laughs> very superstitious, superstitious so. so the reaction from Jeff Ruda he's the business manager of the st. Louis Police Officers Association their union uh, was this it's graphic F I know there are those that will say that these players are simply exercising their First Amendment rights. Well, I've got news for people who think that way. Cops have First Amendment rights too, and we plan to exercise ours. I'd remind the NFL and their players this is not the violent thugs burning down buildings that buy their advertisers' products. It's cops and the good people of St. Louis and other NFL towns that do. Somebody needs to throw a flag on this play. If it's not the NFL and the Rams, then it'll be cops and their supporters. It's a hideous statement. Yeah. Um, I couldn't dislike Jeff Ruda uh, yeah. more than right now. And I want to quote a little bit before we get into it. Will Leach, who's a terrific sports writer and writes for Sports on Earth, a really thoughtful guy. And he, he starts by explaining that he recognizes that cops have just about the toughest job in the country. It is a job in which heightened fraught conflict with strangers, a few of whom, and you don't know which, would feel perfectly comfortable harming you, is the central organizing principle of one's day. It is no wonder, he continues, that police officers report higher rates of depression, alcoholism, domestic violence, and suicide. It's a tough job, one that few people who aren't cops or family members of cops understand. That sense of nobody ever wanting a cop around until they need one. And it's the primary reason police officers band together to protect one another when attacked from the outside, even when sometimes they're not, in fact, justified in doing so. So. What I liked about Leach at first was that he comes out and he's like, look, this is not about to be an attack on cops. And then he drops the hammer on this guy. Uh, Ruda is wrong. Ruda is wrong about this, by the way. The jester has grown to stand for much more than just Michael Brown and the still in dispute, contrary to his statement, details of the shooting, because Ruda, of course, suggested that the facts were now settled on that. Uh, <clears throat> Ruta seems to think the gesture exists, exists specifically and exclusively to call Darren Wilson a murderer, which shows a worrisome lack of understanding of what everyone has been talking about over the last several months. This has been a tragic situation for the Brown family, for Ferguson, for millions of people across the country. It was Thanksgiving dinner discussion everywhere, for better or worse. The ramification of Ferguson will reverberate for years to come. But the flames were starting to die down, he says, at least as a matter of destruction and public fury. Just as that's happening, Ruta, under the SLPOA umbrella, that's the police officers' union, fans those flames. That point hammers at home, and like you said, he dropped the hammer on why Rorta is wrong in his statement. And on top of that, I'm not sure if it was Rorta who released an even longer statement than just that, but the mm -hmm. St. Louis Police Officers Association 
had a long another statement that just read in a very condescending tone uh, and was going deep uh, into detail about their protest being wrong on so many levels should be punished and penalized for what they were doing because the overwhelming amount of evidence in the Ferguson uh, trial it's a bad they're just saying it's a bad statement for the NFL and it, it looks bad and that's not up for the police association to decide. Yeah, thankfully it's not, and the NFL has decided it. And they right. will not punish him. Yeah, of course the they're not going to punish him. Like, you know, even Roger Goodell couldn't screw that up. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> I was going to say, leave it to Roger Goodell to try and screw that up. The other I issue here is, uh, while he's a former cop, this guy, Rurda, is not a police officer. He's a union guy. That's right. And mm -hmm. uh, and I think there has to be a real distinction made there. He also, just lost this, a, he was a member of the Missouri uh, state legislature. He and he lost a race for the state, state senate. senate. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I looked so into this know, guy well, today. He's a real he sounds like a politician. Yeah, he, sound, a he a is a politician. politician. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, just like Tommy Smith and John Carlos at the Olympics, peacefully putting their fist yeah. up in the air and and people recoiled at that uh, this is this is a peaceful protest this you know whatever the rams are doing could not have been more peaceful you know and the, and the, and you mentioned Tommy Smith and John Carlos you know those guys were vilified by many at the yeah, time yeah of course many at the time who later said man my vilification of Tommy Smith and John Carlos was wrong Brent Musburger uh, uh, yeah. principally yeah. among them uh, one quick point that, that Leach made regarding that statement from Reuter, and I think I just, I can't say it better, so I want to quote Will Leach again. There's so much ugliness, he says, in this statement that it's difficult to know where to start talking about Reuter. Violent thugs, which Reuter referred to. I've got news for people. It's threatening. It's menacing. You know, like Reuter saying, hey, look, you want cops there to protect you? I don't know. Maybe something bad's going to happen at the next game if you keep allowing people to protest against us like this. Right. It's just horrible. I mean, the police union, if they got any sense, you know, you got good union guys there. Right. Get one of them in charge and yep. get rid of Jeff Rudolph. By the way, one of the worst things about going to a sporting event is all the cops that are around yeah, constantly. Right. You know? Yeah, it's, thank God. <laughs> it's, it's a threatening statement, and there's nothing threatening about this. No, there's nothing threatening about this, and we don't need to feel continued pity for the guys with, as Will Leach says, for the guys with the guns and the sticks and the power. Like, I got it. We shouldn't gang up on them. Of course not. But, but, and, and, but, and again, they're at the games, and it's great that they're at the games because it does generally, you know, when things go wrong, they step in and they do that. I, you know, and so it sends a subtle message that things are never going to go wrong. things are never going to go wrong. Right, of course, right. it's insurance that they're not going to go wrong and get out of hand. And they, you know, on balance, do a great job of doing that. Uh, but, the, the, you know, but they're also the ones that tell you to get in a line and get out of a line, and it's a pain in the ass. But yeah. the, 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 the real, uh, you know, you hit on it just now, Jason. The, the, it, it was peaceful. It was mm -hmm. quiet. It wasn't anything. There was no violent thuggery there. When the Rams then played the Raiders, that was violent thugs. Yeah, that's right. Was, Actions that's speak right. Lo uh, louder than words. Yeah. Matt Schaub should be trying to put a stop yeah, to that. that yeah, that, then, then you'd have a point. That guy should write a letter on behalf of Matt Schaub. Very quick, uh, to tag on to my uh, Jerks of the Week segment in the final minute, uh, I really, in hindsight, instead of going with Jim Hazlitt, the uh, Jerk of the Week should have been uh, God for just deciding, you know what, I, I threw the Raiders a bone, fuck them. Yeah. Fuck Derek Carr. Uh, I don't think very that's... bold statement from yeah. the Lord this week. I don't week, think the I thought, Lord's a Raiders fan. Uh, I would just be curious if anyone asked Derek Carr. That has to happen. God, I would ask that in a second. I would ask it in a second. God, I would ask that in a second.